Hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name is Maria, I am an illustrator and welcome to my channel. In today's video I bring you the second part in the Annecy series. Uh, Annecy meaning the animation film festival that happens in the city of Annecy every year, uh, which is around the corner, so we better get ready. Um, if you remember from the first video, there I talked a bit about how to get there, why you should go, what to expect, what tickets to buy and all that. And in this second video, I'm going to talk a bit more of once you're there, like in the town, in the, in the festival, what to expect or how to navigate and all that. Uh, just a disclaimer, all the things I'm going to say are based on my plan, which might be interesting for you, um, because that's how I normally go to the festival and that's the best approach for me, so that's what I'm going to share. Let's start with a few basic stuff. Annecy is in France, so the language there is French. Uh, all the things in the festival will be in English, but to move around town it would be nice if you brushed up a bit of your high school French. And if you don't have any, you know, you can always use Google Translate. Like some people do speak English, but I have encountered people that don't. And I've had to like do like a big effort to try to speak French. Even if it's just learning a few basic words like bonjour, ça va, merci, rien, things like that, uh, people will appreciate it. Second of all, uh, the money used in Annecy are euros because it's part of the European Union. If you're traveling through Geneva though, they use Swiss francs. But if you're just going from the airplane to the bus that'll take you to Annecy, you won't need francs at all. So just euros would be fine. Uh, something a lot of people don't think about when they travel is about plugs. And since I am Spanish but live in Ireland, I have suffered the consequences of different plugs. So in Annecy, the type of plug you'll find is this one, the one with the two little holes, is the same one we use in Spain. You can buy an adapter like this one, you know, here you put in whatever you have in your country and just plug it in the wall. This is a pretty cheap stuff, you can probably buy it at the airport or some supermarkets have it and if not a hardware store will definitely have it. Now, how is the weather in Annecy in order to dress up for the occasion? So, check the weather before you go, because it's a bit of a hit and miss. I've gone twice. The first year was like summer, roasting, sun, beautiful, just like perfect. And the second year was a bit more like rainy, gray, coldish. Like it's not cold, cold. Like you should be wearing probably summer clothes and maybe wear a jumper or something like that or a sweater. But yeah, from what I've heard from people that have gone multiple times, it varies a lot from year to year and it can get really cold or really warm. So check the weather in advance. But in my experience from the two years I've gone, it's best to dress in summer and bring a sweater with you. Also, if you're lucky to have sun, uh, don't forget your sunscreen and a hat and all those like protective stuff. Also, you're probably going to do a lot of walking, so make sure to bring comfy shoes and flip-flops in case you want to swim. And of course a swimsuit because, you know, the lake is there. So you need to get to Annecy from the airport. I'm going to comment on the two most uh, usual options, which is Lyon in France or Geneva in Switzerland. Uh, just a bit of disclaimer for this year in particular, um, I've heard from some French colleagues that flying to France this year might not be the best idea because they're constantly having strike and it's just a pain. But if you have your ticket to Lyon, it's okay. <laughs> what are you going to do? Just fly, maybe you'll get there a bit later or whatever. So if you fly to Lyon, make sure to book online your bus. The ticket is around 33 euros return and it's like a, an hour, 20 minute drive. If, like myself, you're flying to Geneva, that is going to be like from 20 to 24 euros the return ticket and it's a 15 minute bus drive. Also on the topic of transportation, around Annecy you're gonna mainly walk or cycle. The town is pretty small so I don't see why you'll be taking buses or taxis. Also be aware that the taxi service is not available from around 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. or something like that. Uh, like they close up pretty early so in case you need a taxi for any reason just check. So what to do once you get to Annecy? Usually you'll arrive on the Saturday or like the day before, so you would go and check in with your accommodation, drop your bags and all that. Once you have that sorted out, you should go and pick up your accreditation. You will do that in the Bonlieu, which is, I said in the 
previous video it's like the central part of the festival and uh, you just go there uh, I think you have to cross it and there's like a little garden behind with some uh, desk and like things so you go up to the desk you say your name or whatever and they'll give you the accreditation and they'll probably give you like a goodie bag uh, I normally refuse it because I just don't want to carry things around and once you've got your accreditation you're free to go and do whatever you want now once you're like all settled in your Airbnb, you've done your grocery shopping, you have your accreditation, what now? Um, there are three places you should keep in mind. First of all, the Bonlia. I've already talked about it. It's where you get your accreditations, where the comic book store is, it's very important. It's where the signings happen, loads of screenings happen there. It's, it's the central part of the festival, it's the heart, if you may. Also, there is like this gorgeous park in front where they do uh, night screenings at night <laughs> where you can go and have a picnic with friends and meet with people and it's, it's really cool. The second place is the Café des Arts. It's a pub or a bar to drink. Uh, everyone, literally everyone goes there at night. It's the place to be if you want to network with people, uh, meet whoever, I don't know, it's like pretty fun. Uh, if you're lucky, you might be able to meet some like, directors or cool artists like animators. I got to meet Glenn King there and I also got to hang out with Jorge Gutierrez one year. That was amazing. Uh, the guy is like super cool. Really, really cool spot to be. But be warned, it's crazy expensive. Like Annecy, it's pretty expensive, but this place is just like... So if you want to drink and you're on a budget, maybe consider bringing your own booze uh, or whatever it is that you drink. It's outdoor, like the, the bar itself is like super tiny. You'll only go in there to the toilet and to order uh, drinks, but everything will happen in the little street they have in front or like really nice place to be. And then the third place you should be aware of is the Imperial Palace. It's like at the end of this beautiful lake walk. Uh, I think it's an hotel. It's an amazing, huge, beautiful hotel. And there you'll have the recruiters. Uh, if you have any interviews, they will be there. Um, it's also the place where you can go to studios and, Hi, do you want to see my portfolio? Hi, do you want to see my portfolio? And show your stuff. That's how I got my job. So yeah, if you're looking for a job, that's the place to be. Also, um, I don't know exactly what day it is. I think it might be on the Thursday. Cartoon Network hosts a really amazing party there. Uh, you can access for free if you get there on time. Uh, they'll give you a goodie bag with really interesting stuff. Uh, there's free food and there's access to like this private beach. It's like really neat. And I got some friends that met Rebecca Sugar there. so. It's another good place to meet people and socialize. And also as a bonus, if you are like me, which you mainly want to chill, relax and meet people, the beach is another place to go. There are like a few spots, but you'll see it. Like you're gonna walk in front of it if you're going to the Imperial, so don't need any more indications from me. Also, all of these places I'm talking about uh, will be listed down below. Well, I've made a Google map, so you can just join it and you'll see all the Annecy places I'm talking about. Eating in Annecy, because that's important. If there is one food I would 100% recommend you trying in Annecy, uh, would be the raclette sandwich. Oh my god, what a delicious piece of like food. It's a sandwich which you can get with meat fillings or just veggie depends on your preference and then they will pour like this hot cheese on top of it called raclette which is like oh amazing uh, i would recommend going to la fermette to get it i think that's how you pronounce it really good really affordable what more is there to ask for also if you're a vegan or if you're like gluten intolerant or whatever um, maybe Annecy is not the most friendly place for you, but they do have a few options. As I said, I've listed them down in the, in the map. Also, you can always check Happy Cow or places like that and to find places to eat. But as I said before, Annecy is crazy expensive. So if you're on a budget, those people are going to be your best friend. Um, yeah. A good old Tupperware. This one is collapsible. 
It's from Ikea. Bought it a few weeks ago and I saw it. It's like, this would be perfect for Annecy. Um, yeah, because if you want to save some money, you're going to have to do some cooking. Normally, cooking saves you a lot of money. And in Annecy, this is especially true. Also, you know, as I said before, if you're vegan or if you have any food intolerance or whatever, it's not the easiest uh, city. Last time I went, I had not yet transitioned into a plant-based diet. So I've never experienced like the, the difficulty of eating there. But I have a friend, Naomi, little buddy, uh, who is gluten-free. And my husband was already vegan at the time. And yeah, uh, you have to you might need to compromise a bit cooking should be your go-to if you want to save some money Also, you know if the weather's good going to picnics and all that is going to be the best way to meet with other people And uh, so yeah, just use that as an excuse to to mingle and you can also have like a nice siesta under a tree And finally things to do in Annecy out of the festival because you know, it's an entire week I don't think anyone is so enthusiastic about animation to go just go like bing, 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 the entire week no not me at least so other things you can do beside the festival would be like going to the beach or walking around the town like it's a beautiful beautiful town like it's a bit medieval kind of thing it has canals it's like lovely to walk around they also have a farmer's market going on tuesday fridays and Sundays from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. where you can get loads of fresh produce, uh, baked goods and some random stuff like uh, last time I went I picked up fabric for a beautiful dress I made myself. It was super cheap, it was super beautiful and the dress looks amazing. So you can also rent a pedalo to like sail around the lake or uh, some other kind of transport. I think you might be able to find some like pedal surf thing. That's your thing. Great. Uh, you can also rent like motorbike and all that but you know pedalo is pretty fun like they they come some of them come with like a slide so you can just like whee into the into the lake and another thing you can do is go hiking up to the mountain they have a, an animation museum like in some kind of castle thing it's kind of a small museum but it's really cute and and the walk is nice so so yeah there are like things you can do around it doesn't all have to be all animation related and i think that's all from my side i'm really really looking forward to this trip like yesterday i was writing the script i was talking with a friend she's been to annecy more times than i have so i was asking her a few questions and, and i was like oh my god i can't wait to go like i i really hope we get good weather uh, i'm a bit tired of ireland's bad weather uh i need to prepare my portfolio it's not like i'm gonna be actively looking for a job mm, that wasn't my plan on my first annex and it ended up happening but yeah i'm mainly looking forward to reconnecting with people i haven't seen in ages and relaxing a bit because you know it's been kind of a hectic year and i still have a bit to go um, I think I've covered everything, but if you have any questions, something you'd like to know, let me know. Uh, check in the description box below. I'll have some links of interest to you. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!